Welcome to our uh, December 2021 nurse pinning ceremony at Dakota County Technical College. My name is Renee Lemieux and I am one of the faculty members and the director of nursing here at DCTC. And so we're excited that you can all join us for this special event. <laughs> Before I was gonna begin, we were gonna have the Dean say a uh, little something, but we're struggling with that. So first, let us bring in our graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. been to a pinning ceremony before, so I'll tell you a little bit why we do pinning. Pinning ceremony has its roots in the 12th century when knights who aided the sick and infirmed um, were given the Maltese cross to wear. Today's pinning ceremony is closely tied to an award given to legendary nurse Florence Nightingale, known as the mother of modern nursing. She was awarded the Red Cross of St. George um, in the 1860s for her tireless work during the Crimean War. To share this honor, Florence presented a Medal of Excellence to her brightest graduates. Soon the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London designed and awarded a badge with the Maltese Cross to all nurses as they completed their program. Since 1916, the practice of pinning ceremony has been standard throughout the United States. The badge symbolized educated women and men um, were now competent to provide health care to their communities. Their pin designates the school from which they received their nursing education and we are at DCTC are proud to have our pins worn by each of these graduates. Yep, they're up here. They got me. <laughs> I'm checking my email. He hasn't sent me anything. So I'm going to continue. One thing we know in nursing, you have to be adaptable, right? So we're going to continue. Um, instead of Ron leading us, we're going to move to our first student speaker, which is Ms. Maddie Keelan. Good evening. I want to congratulate all my fellow students on completing the nursing program. When we were logged in on Zoom for the first time, I believe it was with Renee before the semester started to give us a welcome, a heads up on what we might want to get before the semester started and what to expect. She was not kidding when she said nursing school is not like anything else we have ever encountered or will encounter in life. As the semester started and we started to get to know all of our instructors, one thing I don't think anyone knew was how supportive our instructors would be. Renee wasn't kidding when she said give, she would give us chocolate and cry with us and then pick us back up and continue to become the best nurses each and every one of us can be. The nursing program here at ECTC is truly one of a kind. Each of the instructors have all shared life experiences they have as nurses. Every instructor here has the students' best intentions in mind and has pushed us to e pushed each of us to become the best nurses we can all be. I want to thank Renee, Jill, Brenda, Janet, and Julie for all their time, effort, and knowledge they have all shared with us over these last 10 months. Thank you. was a reluctant speaker, might I add. <laughs> um, next up, we have Samantha Verschow. Verschow. Look at that, Maddie. Put my speech up here for me and everything. Maybe the others are better, but I'm going to read the one I wrote. <laughs> um, I 
wanted to thank all of you that are here today. Uh, we're celebrating a major mile milestone in all of our lives. And for those of us that weren't able to attend but are cheering from us from afar, I know that each one of you played a key role in our success. And whether it was listening to us while we vented about our crazy schedules, uh, handed us a cup of coffee on an early morning, or for me, a uh, pink monster, <laughs> uh, <laughs> giving words of encouragement when we were doubting ourselves or helping us to relieve household stresses so that we were able to focus on our studies. Each of you helped us reach our goal today and to be here. And for that, I wanna say thank you from all of us. When we attended orientation, I remember all of us looking around the room. We were super excited but nervous and we weren't really sure what we were getting ourselves into. Uh, but we were proud to be there and to start our journey. We have come so far since that first day, and it hasn't been easy. Long nights studying, juggling work, clinicals, preceptors, our family and our friends. We've made sacrifices to ensure that our, that our education came as a priority. In addition to all the demands of school and life, Many of us had struggled with mental health issues. Some of us had faced financial instabilities. There were a few of us that cared for ill family members and who had lost loved ones. And many faced other personal trials. I have so much respect and admiration for my classmates. We've grown to be confident in our abilities and our knowledge, and we have built lifelong friendships. We have faced challenges with determination and grace and I'm so proud to be a part of this amazing group of men and women. While we attended DCTC, we learned nursing skills, procedures, diagnoses, interventions, medications, so much information that at times our brains felt like they hurt physically <laughs> and that we couldn't fit any more data inside them. Uh, however, our instructors instilled in us that nursing's not just about the tasks we complete or the information that we learn, it's that providing that quality care is when you're able to walk into a patient's room as a stranger in scrubs, make them feel comfortable, gain their trust, and know that when you left that room, you truly made a difference in their life and their personal situation. So thank you to all our instructors who shared their knowledge and their experiences with us as nurses. Thank you for pushing us and thank you for giving us grace, and thank you for knowing when we needed which. <laughs> uh, we're here today because we all had a calling to become a nurse. Our journey getting to this point was all very different. Some of us have traveled from different countries. Some of us are fresh out of high school, and others went in one direction and then decided to take a new path. This may be the most diverse group of people that I've ever been a part of. Um, but we are still so much the same because we're nurses. She pretty much stole my speech, so <laughs> there's that. Before we continue, I wanna acknowledge our faculty, um, Jill Holden. If you've ever heard this name muttered under your breath, you can look at the face. Yeah, that's my name. It's probably a joke. Janet Rainford. Brenda Arneson. Is that Julie? And Julie, and I just lost her last name because I'm so so truth be told, I forgot to invite Julie, and the students are like, you need to invite Julie. Julie Langer, there it is, thank you. She was our clinical or adjunct clinical this semester, and she was well received by the students, so I'm so glad you could make it. And I'm sorry for the oversight. Maddie kept me on task, <laughs> as she's known to do. Um, we seem to be having issues with our dean, so we're just gonna move on without him, but there he is. Ron <laughs> Erickson is our dean and he's very proud of each of you, he told me to tell you. So now we're gonna move on to the reason we are here this evening, recognizing our graduates. Each of our grads was asked to select a sponsor, 
and a sponsor is someone who has played a vital role in their journey to get where they are today. As both Maddie and Samantha pointed out, nursing school is a little bit different. Lots of our students come to us with different degrees already under their belt and they say, this was crazy, and it is. Um, so we know that you, family and friends, are part of their success. So we wanna make sure that you're recognized tonight as well. So tonight is about the graduates and you, their sponsors. I will read a little bit about each sponsor as a graduate earns their pin. If your graduate did not submit a sponsor form, I get to ad lib something fun about them. <laughs> I think they all submitted one, which is unfortunate. Um, so once you, I announce your graduate, if, you will, if you're their sponsor, if you will join them on stage. Um, and we put the pins on a ribbon so you don't have to actually jab anybody. <clears throat> I am certain that each person in this room can agree that the last year has been especially challenging, nursing, nursing school notwithstanding. Masks, nasal swabs, Zoom, social distancing, and virtual clinical are all terms we have become far too familiar with. A year and a half ago, I would have told you we could not teach nursing in a virtual platform, but yet here we are. You could have each chosen a different path. No one would have blamed you for changing course instead of taking on nursing school during such a tenuous time. Our best laid plans changed numerous times due to factors beyond our control, and yet you showed up and maintained your sense of humor most of the time. <laughs> beyond the pandemic and schoolwork, each of you faced your own personal struggles, some of which you did not know you would recover from, yet here you are, and we're so proud of each of you. Things the pandemic has taught us. Maddie's cat loves the camera, and we're all too familiar with his or her backside, I'm not sure of its gender. <laughs> Nicole has lucky slippers that even her classmates can de depend upon for comfort and strength. And our part of the slideshow that we'll play at the end because we finally got it working. Thank you, Samantha. Um, don't ask the students to change places when they are on campus unless you're fixing for an argument. Choose your battles wisely. No one minded getting up early for clinical as much as it meant we could be together. We learned that we are more flexible and resilient than we ever dreamed possible. Best of all, you supported each other in a way no one else knew how to because you were in the trenches together and no one understands the battle like you do. When each of you looks back to 2021, I hope you feel the pride of someone who not only successfully completed nursing school, but someone who completed nursing school in a pandemic. The pandemic has been a stage where nurses shine in a way the world has not seen since the early 1900s. Nurses don't complain about wearing a mask most of the time or being quarantined as they know their work was important, that the health of all surpasses the wishes of a few. Nurses acknowledge that every life is precious and therefore, therefore forge into battle every single day without concern for themselves. If they can make one person's life brighter, the battle has been worth it. As many of us nurses are getting older and tiring in their battle, each of you excitedly and skillfully enters the arena and we are so thankful for that. Be assured you have the tools necessary to be a vital member of the healthcare team. You are amongst the most trusted in America. You are nurses. Remember with the title nurse comes great responsibility. Aside from your technical competence, always remember it is your words, your compassion, and your extra effort that will make you the great nurse. One comment made last week by a clinical partner made me especially proud when I asked the advisory board for their feedback on our students. She noted DCTC students are so very kind it doesn't matter what the day brings, each of them was willing to help out with a smile. And that's one of the things I always tell you from the, the get-go, I can teach you skills, but we can't teach you that kindness, so that made me very happy. With that, let's please celebrate this accomplishment. Each of you are bound for great things and are capable of doing anything you set your minds to. And now I'm going to invite some faculty up on stage to help me with the pinning. Our first graduate is Kelly Adamson. Her sponsor is Susan Nolan Adamson. <laughs> Kelly writes about her mom. She always gone above and beyond to get what I need so I could stay on task. She made sure there was a fresh pot of coffee, dinner to eat, and she even got me a yoga ball to sit on because she knows I have a hard time sitting still. I did notice that in your, in your flip grids. So nice job. Uh, I know my mom would do anything to see me succeed and I deeply appreciate that. Without her and my dad's support, I don't know if I would even made it. So thank you to both of them. 
Um, her favorite memory from her time at DCTC was all the foundations labs were her favorite as it was fun to learn skills in person. Congrats, Kelly. Our next graduate is Bonfis Ayeko, and he is being pinned by his wife, Ruth. Bonfis writes, I really thank God for her support on a daily basis for going above and beyond to ensure that our daughter is well taken care of and preparing meals for us. She motivated me to keep on pushing until the end. His favorite memory was my relationship with the students at Clinical Morso Malastrana, and the instructor in learning was mesmerizing. I've never been described as mesmerizing. Congratulations, Bonfis. Bonfis learned a valuable lesson at Clinical when he said, my patient doesn't have any medications. <laughs> so I got him a new patient. <laughs> that patient had lots of medications. <laughs> Our next student is Nicole Birch, and she is being pinned by her husband, Jesse Birch. <laughs> Nicole's the one with the lucky slippers, which she did not wear tonight. <laughs> Nicole writes, Jesse is my sponsor because even when I desperately wanted to quit the program, he pushed me and reminded me why I started in the first place. He gave me the strength to make it through the worst months of my life, and I can't express how thankful I am to have him in my life. Jesse is the sole reason I'm here today. Her favorite memory is one being made right here, right now. Congrats. <laughs> Next graduate is Maris Domaly, and she's being pinned by her mom, Latricia. <laughs> Amaris writes, my mother has been my cheerleader from the start. All the love and encouragement she expressed and continues to express pushed me to make it this far. I want her to know how grateful I am to have her support. Her favorite memory is I had a wonderful clinical group and instructor. I'm sure I'm not the only one who enjoyed their time at Regina Senior Living in Hastings, Minnesota. Our last meeting was bittersweet, but so memorable. I wish everyone well in their endeavors. <laughs> Our next student is Caitlin Carolla, and she's being pinned by her fiance, Michael Sveen. Caitlin writes, Michael has been amazing during my time in nursing school. He has been super supportive and understanding when it comes to my studying and school time. He encouraged me to study and do homework, even when I didn't want to. And he forgave me for all the time we could not spend together because of said homework and studying. Happy face. Her favorite, <laughs> I thought that was important. A favorite mem memory is, all of my favorite memories from nursing school were the times we all could come together as a cohort and staff. Most of those times were due to class or tests, but the days we played review games were so much fun, and I feel like we really bonded together as a group. Congratulations, Caitlin. Our next graduate is Maddie Keelan. Her sponsor is Amy Brown, who is her self-adopted sister. Maddie writes, Amy has always been there for the good and bad of school. When I did not do well on an exam, she'd remind me no one is ever going to be able to see test scores. They only, like, C's get degrees, come on up. They only care about how you do your job. And now I have to pull this up because, oh, eyes. <laughs> and now you're, uh, and how, what you do for your patients, sorry. When I'd be feeling defeated or overwhelmed, Amy always seemed to know and help with whatever content we were working on in school. She seemed to always know when to share advice. My grandma once gave her, they worked together, or would share one of the memories she had with her. Those advice moments and stories would make my determination, determination to finish school, thank you, even stronger. You think I'd know you're writing by now. <laughs> Amy, thank you for uh, being willing to be beside me in life, but especially for helping and supporting me to finish school. Our favorite memory is when we all went to Carboni's the end of last semester to celebrate. I can honestly say that day I gained some lifelong friends and those friendships have grown stronger over this semester. We knew we had a safety net with each other. 
Congratulations, Maddie. Our next student is Junaid Jula. I call him Jun. Kwaja. And he will be pinned by Janet Rainford. And he says Janet's totally awesome. He didn't write that, but she is. One of his favorite memories is I, when I first started the nursing program, it was a bit challenging for me to adapt with the educational system and loads of assignments and complication of classes, scheduling, which I've never been through before. The way and method I had studied in a third world country, it was before the technology, it was this advance that we have today, plus language barriers. Long story short, I usually make my weekly schedule in advance to see what assignments and quizzes are coming with their times written. Unfortunately, I had forgotten or missed to write one of the quiz times. Our Zoom usually started at 8 a.m. on that subject, and I tried to join the Zoom for lecture, but I couldn't. After several attempts, I told myself something might be going wrong. <laughs> I rechecked the schedule for that subject and noticed that a quiz is going on. I am 15 minutes late. Plus, I have not studied for this quiz. <laughs> so I joined the quiz late, and fortunately, I have a general information about human body skeletal system and bones, which the quiz was about. See, you can always wing it. So I scored above 75%, and that's good. And it taught me a great lesson at the same time. With the kindness and direction of our awesome instructors here at DCTC, the entire nursing class was a great memory for me. Congrats, June. That's something I think it was last week. We were taking a test, and we are on a little break, and June's just sitting there holding his head. I'm so slow, and I'm like, well, He's like, I have to translate back and forth. He speaks five languages. I'm like, which one do you translate back and forth to? I'm exhausted, I only speak one language. So I'm pretty impressed. Our next graduate is Caitlin Link. She is being pinned by her mom, Ileana. <laughs> Caitlin writes, I wouldn't be who I am today without my mom. She has not only been my inspiration to become a nurse just like her, but has always been my number one cheerleader throughout this entire process. Whenever things started to get tough, and they tended to do that a lot, she was just a phone call away, reminding me to keep going and enthusing, me, enthusing with me about the things I had found exciting that most other people probably wouldn't quite understand. I get that. She is my rock and the reason I'm here today. I don't know what I would do without her. A favorite memory? I've made a lot of great memories as well as some lifelong friends while here at DCTC, but one memory that sticks out in my mind was from last semester in our foundations lab. We were doing ostomy checkoffs, and my partner Sam went to turn the mannequin, but it proceeded to completely fall apart. <laughs> True. Now, if this was me and the limbs were flying all over the place, I wouldn't have been able to keep my composure, but Sam, being the badass that she is, continued on with her demonstration as if it were a real patient, even saying something along the lines, oh no, let me help you with that. This memory sticks out to me because as, as stressful as those checkoffs were in all of nursing school really, it reminded me that things aren't always going to go smoothly when we start caring for real patients, but we need to be able to roll with it and rely on each other to get through. I couldn't have asked for a better group to go through this journey with, and I know we are going to make awesome nur nurses even through the ups and downs. Congratulations, Caitlin. Know that if you're ever in the hospital and Samantha's your nurse and your limbs fall off, you're fine. She will talk you through it. It'll be okay. Our next graduate is Maria Teresa Lopez. She is being pinned by her parents, Orlando and Rosa. Maria Teresa writes, thanks to my parents for their consistent reminder of my capabilities and intelligence. I chose not to give up. Both my parents were always patient in letting me figure out who I am, and here I am answering my call to be a nurse. Thanks to them, I will be the first to graduate with a profession in our family. My father, my mother, and my and brother, I will not be who I am today without their guidance, kindness, and love. A favorite memory at DCTC is during our clinical two in Regina Senior Living. The group I was in, we all bonded so well. Every day was filled with laughter, and it showed because of how well we worked together on the floor. Congratulations, Teresa. Our next graduate is Erin Moley. Like 
holy moly, that's how I remember. <laughs> and her sponsors are her parents, Bill and Julie. Aaron writes, ever since I started my school journey, my parents continued to believe in any decisions I made, whether that was taking time to slow down and focus on myself or switching schools to find the one that best fits me and my goals, I knew they were right there next to me, trusting me and the choices I made. They continually had my back through all of nursing school. Between crying, <laughs> stress eating, staying up all night, panic studying for exams, and just being there to listen when I was stressed and making no sense, they were always there. Without my parents, I wouldn't have been able to make it through this past year. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for being my support system through all of this and for believing in me and my goals. I can confidently say that without the two of you, I wouldn't have been able to successfully be able to complete this program and make it this far. Thank you for believing in me, even when at times I didn't believe in myself. I am forever grateful to have such amazing parents like you guys in my life. A favorite memory, ever since joining the LPM program here at DCTC, I've made so many memories that will stay with me through my entire life and nursing career. A few memories include going out to eat when we have in-person class at Fireside in Rosemont. I was never invited. <laughs> Watching Sam check off in lab and have her mannequin completely fall apart with limbs falling in every direction while we and Caitlin are trying to keep our cool while completely dying of laughter. Having our assigned seats in class and convincing ourselves if we don't sit in the same spot, we will fail our tests. Getting biscuits and gravy every morning at clinical going to the wrong place and overall just meeting everyone in this program and having each other to push support and lean on throughout the last year congrats <laughs> i would also like to point out we have we have purchased three new mannequins whose limbs all stay attached <laughs> and if only the dean could hear us he'd know it was a good purchase <laughs> our next graduate is nemwell mosoda and he is being pinned by his girlfriend, Yupa Maya. <laughs> Nemo writes, she has been always there for me even when things are not going in the right direction. She always encourages me and keeps me moving as nursing school is stressful, more especially when going to school and at the same time working to pay bills. She's one in a million. She always prepares food for me when I drive one hour plus to and from DCTC. Above all, I always thank God for getting us this far. A favorite memory, and I giggled at this earlier, so don't take it personal, but I love it. One of my favorite memories is a birthing simulation. It was fun for me. We have a mannequin that gives birth. There you go. I learned a lot of things from the time the mother is in labor until the time a baby is born. The most scary thing that I cannot believe and forget until now is that some mothers eat their placenta after the babies. <laughs> I still can't believe how human beings can eat their own flesh. <laughs> In my culture, it is a taboo. Other than that, I really appreciate everyone starting from my instructors to my co-students and whoever has contributed in when, one way or another to enable me where I am today. I'm thankful and I wish everyone all the best. Not forgetting Merry Xmas and a Happy New Year in advance. God bless you all. Yeah. Congratulations. That is one of the awesome things that like Samantha said. We're a very diverse school and we learn so much from each other. I wouldn't want to eat a sunset either. <laughs> Our next student is Jennifer Azuzu. She is being pinned by her children, Anthony and Antoinette. Aww. Jennifer writes, I really, I will really want to appreciate God first for giving me the strength and good health. My husband for giving the, the pit, pat on my back saying, honey, you can make it if others can, you can. And also my kids for all their support. There were times they needed mom to take them to places, but mom was busy studying for the success and they understood it. You guys have helped me fulfill my dreams. Love you always. A favorite memory is I had to drop in a course before, but said to myself, I don't think I can do it anymore. But with the encouragement of my darling husband and kids, I stood up and said, I can do it. I love the instructors at DCTC. They encourage you to fulfill your dream 
They don't look down on students. Even if you are failing, they'll tell you, you can make it. And that's, that's the true. Really. <laughs> Congratulations, Jen. Our next graduate is Priscilla Catronio. She is being pinned by her husband, Brian. Priscilla says, thank you to my husband for supporting me every way he could, driving me to all my classes and keeping me motivated. I was impressed. That's a lot of driving. A favorite memory is going to clinicals, spending time with classmates, and practicing with patients. Working, yeah, practicing with patients. Caring for. We did practice. We know what we're doing. Congratulations, Priscilla. next graduate is Deb Krejcik. Deb has three sponsors. None of the, them could be here tonight, but we were want to acknowledge them. Her mom, Heather, and her son, Will, share co-share honors, but they're unable to attend. They sacrificed and paid for the majority of her school tuition. Her cousin, Abby, has been incredibly supportive in a practicing LPN for over 30 years. Uh, she was the first person to graduate with post-secondary education in our family and is like a big sister to me. She is being pinned tonight for her husband, Bill, and of course he's been amazing and supportive, and we just want to make sure everybody was acknowledged. Congratulations, Deb. <laughs> now, I saw that she gets me. I can read this fine. <laughs> Our next graduate is Isada Siwa. She is being pinned by her children, Sia and Sar. Isada writes, my kids have played a vital role in this journey. Sometimes when I return from school, I would be so crabby with the stress of schoolwork, exams, and more. My kids would come to me and say, mommy, it's okay, especially my daughter. During my prerequisite, she came Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Did you say mommy is okay? Yes, that's okay. okay. <laughs> During my prerequisite, she can help me type my essay if I have any paper writing. If I started to worry about leaving them throughout the day without getting in touch with them, my kids would say, Mom, we're okay. We will pray for you and you will succeed and we want to get we want you to get a career. I received a word of courage from them a lot, which I believe that it keeps me going through this journey. I really want to thank them for their support. Congratulations, I said that. And our final graduate tonight is Samantha Burschow, and she is being pinned by her husband, Jeff. Samantha writes, if it wasn't for my husband, Jeff, I wouldn't be standing here today. My passion to become a nurse started at a young age, but was rekindled when my grandpa came to live with us a couple of years back. Jeb stood by my side, caring for my grandpa and our family, and when I said I wanted to change my career and go back to school for nursing, he supported me through the entire journey. From being the sole financial supporter to our family, holding down the fort at home, to even starting my car in the early mornings of every clinical day, he was, <laughs> everyone, he was done, he has done everything to support me in being successful. He has encouraged me on the days when I didn't think I was going to make it, and trust me, there were many. Thank you, Jeb, for being my partner in this adventure of life and always having my back. A fun memory I have is when we were in clinical our first semester. It was St. Patrick's Day. The residents were dressed in green and activities had a lot planned for the afternoon. One of the residents who was Irish was sharing stories about her family traditions, dressing up, going out every year, having a green beer and dancing. She sounds awesome. We were talking about how she used to Irish clog and how much fun she had. She was in a wheelchair now, so dancing wasn't an option anymore, which I saw had made her sad. Me being an experienced Irish clog dancer? Read the next sentence. <laughs> <laughs> after, taking one oh, after taking one adult clog class at my daughter's dance school, I decided to dance for her in the middle of the lunch area. She laughed and clapped her hands, because I'm sure you were so good, and cheered me on. I may have looked like a fool, but it brought a smile to her face and a little joy. It was a day that reminded me why I'm in nursing school and something I think about on difficult days and smile. Congratulations.
could have her. Uh, could could so you? Uh, I'm not gonna yes, we would all love a little Irish talk, right? <laughs> take one last moment to congratulate the practical nursing class of December 2021. And before I let you go, I have one little poem for you. I love her excitement. It's really not that good. Being a nurse means you will never be bored. You will always be frustrated. You will be surrounded by challenges, so much to do in so little time. You will carry immense responsibility and very little authority. You will step into people's lives and you will make a difference. Some will bless you, some will curse you. You will see people at their worst and at their best. You will never cease to be amazed at people's capacity for love, courage, and endurance. You will see life begin and end. You will experience resounding triumphs and devastating failures. You will cry a lot. You will laugh a lot. You will know what it is to be human. And more importantly, you will know what it is to be humane. Welcome to the best profession ever. Congratulations. start up the slideshow I struggled with earlier and you are open to get photos masked or unmasked briefly we made it through without COVID which is remarkable I might say congrats again